Abraham, the Hawaiian shaman with whom I studied, used to say that the normal person had extraordinary capabilities. And certainly in Hawaii, in the old days, it was understood that people had capabilities beyond the obvious. So the navigators, the fishermen, would look at the water right at the beach where they were, you know, pushing their canoes out. And the, they would know immediately what the conditions were like on the other side of the island. This was just normal, you know, and through humanity's history, human beings have functioned at higher levels just because we had to. So, you know, the in the prairies, the people functioning in the prairies, the ones who had intuition functioning well, you know, the settlers, they would do better than the ones who were numbed out, who were numbed out to the data within them. So we are divine beings. We have huge capacities. And what I want to spotlight is what's happening I see around me of people numbing out to the knowledge of their hearts, to the truth of who they are. And this is, you know, I've talked before, our culture is alienated, but at each individual, we don't have to live this way. You can recover your true capacities, your true nature, your, your genius. It just takes a little bit of courage to become less numb. If you think about what happens with, you know, if you go out in the snow and you get really cold feet and your boots, maybe you're just wearing gum boots in the snow and it's not enough and you come back, your feet are really cold. So you put them in hot water, what will happen is they'll sting. So when numbing is clearing, it hurts. It hurts to become more alive. Mm -hmm. It hurts to recover the truth of you. But, you know, the thing is, who wants to be walk around numb? Who wants to walk around functioning at 4 out of 10, as opposed to 10 out of 10? Because, as I say, we're, we're all we're these souls. There's actually, we have no limits. But, you know, our culture, we're, we're, um, we're getting limited, you know, even I think the, um, the root cause, one of the root causes of the learning disabilities uh, I, that are going on, I think is, is trauma and numbing in kids who, you know, both parents are working too much and, or maybe there's a lot of emotional unrest in the family and the kids are not getting what they need as young mammals. They're not getting the bonding or the care that they need in order to be able to function as full human beings. Yeah, and we're very cavalier about this. We're putting, you know, material benefit ahead of Mother Nature well-being and of our children's well-being and we're doing this because we're too numbed out to realize the cost so this is my point is numbing makes us really stupid so you know um, a young person might self-harm because they're feeling so numb that at least with the you know with the pain it actually makes them feel alive and, you know, people do this. I mean, the, they will lurch from trauma to trauma to trauma in their adulthood, really, as kind of a, underneath, it's, it's, it's kind of like the, at least they feel more alive then, when things are falling apart, they know they're alive. But it's a very backwards way to, to go. I mean, it's, you know, it's, dead end way to live where just more trauma and numbing is accumulated. So what to do? 
Okay, I'll tell you what I did. And I've used my life like a laboratory, like one of those, like an experimental laboratory. I've experimented with what worked on the spiritual journey. And I feel like one of those scientists, you know, that takes all kinds of substances and sees the result. And I've tried a lot of different things to deal with my own um, numbing or resistance, in other words, resistance. And what really works is this. Taking a really deep look at your life and deciding, you know, deciding whether you're whether this relates to you at all about the numbing. If you have a feeling of being half alive, we're not really there in your relationships or even with yourself. I mean, that common feeling people talk about, about feeling like a fraud, that's part of this numbing. You can save the universe. You can say, okay, please, may I Wake up to the truth of me at a, at a pace that I can handle because you do not want to push it because you do not want a tsunami of emotion coming up. But you could maybe handle increased feeling, increased emotions. You know, some of the material that you've, that you've repressed along the, the way. You could allow little bits to come up at a pace you could handle to feel it. And as you feel it and you stay aware that you're asking this numbness to heal. And so, you know, this repressed material that you, that you push down so you could stay numb will come up. And again, it's like putting cold feet in warm water. It, it stings, it stings as you come alive. But just feel it. And very soon you will be able to get empirical evidence of that you're more, you're functioning on more cylinders. You're more intelligent. Really, your intelligence. You will, you will get concepts that you couldn't understand before. You know, if you're walking around with a lot of repressed anger, you will feel very separate from life. So if a spiritual person is talking about everything is one, you'll look and you'll go, what, what? You know, how could that be? But if you feel this repressed anger and you feel the grief underneath it, you actually will start feeling more at one with everything. So then it's not a big jump to get the thought of, oh yeah, everything's one. So this is one of the things with for spiritual teachers, teaching these concepts. And sometimes when we're numb, we look at this and go, this person's talking nonsense, but maybe we should address our numbness. You know, maybe the problem's in us. <laughs> maybe it's like we've got a submerged, frozen heart in there that we need to come back to. Yeah, and again, it's, you know, it's nobody's fault because our culture, it teaches us to be alienated. And, you know, we've been living this way a long time and it's just that there's, the rules are changing now. We can't continue. We've just come to the end of the line. So we have, we all have to learn a new way. So, you know, you're, it's the same for everybody. We're all, we've all got a new gig. We've all, you know, we all have to wake up. Yeah. Okay. I hope this makes sense. Okay. Bless your hearts.